another couple of questions. I heard Ron Paul's speech, and I read his article, When a Cut is Not a Cut. It's really fabulous. He said that what they're doing how, now is akin to a family saving, quote, $100,000 in expenses by deciding not to buy a Lamborghini and instead getting a fully loaded Mercedes, when really their budget dictates that they need to stick with their perfectly serviceable Honda. Isn't that really what's, what this is all about? Absolutely it is. And this, to me, this is the crucial thing right here, is that when Moody's and S&P and these credit rating agencies have said, we need to see $4 trillion in cuts in order not to downgrade your credit rating, how dare these people in Washington not come up with a plan that cuts that much? Are they not paying attention to the rest of the world? Do they not care what our creditors are thinking and saying? How dare them come up short of that? All right, so the bottom line is the Tea Party Express, Michael Savage, and other real fiscal conservatives are really pragmatists. What we're saying is cut the spending, don't increase taxes. Cut the bloated government. And, and I studied this in a little detail, and I'm sure you have as well, Amy. We pay 35% more for our military today than we did 10 years ago, as Ron Paul said, for the exact same capabilities. The same could be said for the rest of the government. Why are we paying double in 10 years when we get the same services how is that possible well i think that's a good question that needs to be answered i i mean we cannot continue to spend the way that we're spending we cannot continue to rack up these debts that we're racking up